So Tank versus Shakur Stevenson. They haven't made it official. They made a verbal agreement now that Tank in the Lomachenko fight isn't going to happen. Verbally agreed to this. So, so Adrian, can you see, you see this fight happening? And if it does happen, who, how, what do you think the outcome will be? I definitely see this fight happening. Um, Finally, guys going some balls in boxing and decided, hey, let's get two of the biggest fighters in boxing. We want to see Shakur fight a big, a super, super big time fighter. Tank is probably the hottest guy in, in boxing right now. Um, severe knockout power. Shakur's a little younger. He's coming up. Um, But if, if the fight was today, I would take Tank Davis, obviously, which I believe most people will. But I want to give a shout out to my cousin Aaron. Um, Called me today when he found out the news. He's a big boxing fan. He says if this fight happens, he's taking Shakur Stevenson. He believes Shakur Stevenson will outbox Tank Tank Davis, and he's not backing up from it. So he want to give him a shout out because he's he said he doesn't want anybody else jumping on the Shakur Stevenson bandwagon. Well, cousin Aaron, I was going to take him just because I don't really like Tank Davis. So I'm hopping. <laughs> I let him know you said it. Yeah, I'm hopping out. I'm, I, I was hopping on the train before I heard before I heard you say it, Adrian. Um, again, I'm not. You guys know I don't follow boxing too much. I really wanted that. Uh, if I, you know, I do watch the bigger fights, so I will watch this one. Um, but I did want to see. I did want to see him Loma fight Tank. So I am a little upset if that one doesn't happen. Yeah, yeah. Ho- hopefully they. This, this is official. This is a stone. I know it's a verbal agreement right now, but I don't see why it wouldn't happen, especially with the um, the Loma situation not happening anymore. So yeah. I, I, I expect these guys to fight in November. It's going to be a good one. And and, and take, Tank at this point, he needs to start fighting name brand guys, the Devin Haney's, the right. Loma Chico. If, you, if you're going to call yourself the best pound for pound in the world, you, you got to start checking off that box. You got to start getting um, no, name guys out the way. So ho- hopefully that happens in November. And then before we get out, before we get out of here, Rod, sorry, uh, Bud Crawford fight this weekend, um, yep. LA. That's a that's a great this is a great card, uh Ari. So you gotta gotta check it out. Some of these undercards. You got a guy named Jared and Jared, Jared Anderson. Um he's a heavyweight yeah. fighter he's from Toledo. So he's yeah. he's an up and coming guy I gotta watch out for. I, I like watching Terrence Crawford because I also think that story is absolutely insane where his mom would pay the local kids in the neighborhood to beat him up. Yeah. And then and then they asked him how how it made him feel and and did it help? He said, No, that shit sucked. <laughs> so I think <laughs> I think that's one of the funniest stories that I've ever heard. And so I like rooting for him a little bit. He's a funny guy. Absolutely. Great, great week of boxing coming up, man. You got Terrence Crawford fighting um, Israel Moder- Modermoff. I'm, I don't know if I pronounced that white, right. Yeah, that's Cole- about as good as I can get, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. the, co- the co-main event, you got Andy Ruiz versus Jarrell Miller. That's going to be a good fight in the heavyweight division. Yeah, like Adrian said, you got Jared Anderson fighting, and you also got Pitbull Cruz on his card as well. So man, a lot of the a lot of the big dogs, a lot of the big names in boxing are gonna be fighting this weekend. So I mean, is AJ gonna like, run it back for... with Andy Ruiz? Are they gonna do another fight? No, Andy Ruiz. The problem with him is he's he's lazy. So like, once he won that fight against Anthony Joshua, it's just kind of like that was his career. Like he, it's either it's either he he shows up or he doesn't show up. So you're gonna you're not gonna get in the middle. He's not. He's either gonna give you a good perform a great performance, or gonna give you a horrible performance. There's no like solid fight from him and. As far as Pitbull Cruz, I think Pitbull Cruz beats Venezuela. He Pitbull yeah. Cruz puts puts the pressure on you. Know, call him Pitbull for nothing. He he gave Tank uh, he gave Tank something to think about when they fought. So I'm a big yeah. fan of his. Sure, I mean Tank Tank to his credit did fight him on a short notice. He was a yeah. a, a filling fighter. So 